This video is part two of the geometry creation portion of the aerodynamic analysis of an F1 in schools model car series. In the second half of our geometry creation video, we will look at how to create the wheels as well as aerodynamic surfaces for our model car. We will begin by creating a single wheel. Navigate to the sketch tab and select the circle tool. Draw a circle at the connecting point of the floor with a diameter of 26 millimeters per the F1 in schools rules and regulations. Complete the circle and select the return to 3D mode icon to create the surface. Now select the pull tool and pull the circle so that the wheel has a width of 15 millimeters. Now offset the wheel from the connecting point by 7.85 millimeters. In reality, our wheel assembly for our on-track car will be more complex and include a sort of hub, bearing, or axle assembly. However, these additional features are unnecessary for our CFD analysis, so we will choose to model our wheel assemblies as simple cylinders. Since we will have four identical wheels, we do not need to perform the sketching and pulling operation four different times. Instead, we will use the linear pattern and mirror tools to create the additional wheels. To create a linear pattern, first select the Linear Pattern tool. Next, select the wheel that we just created. Now, we will select the direction for the new wheel. Select the x-axis and notice that a silhouette outline of the new wheel will appear in the proposed position. We want our wheel to be 75 millimeters towards the rear of the car. So enter 75 millimeters in the position box and notice the silhouette wheel at the rear of the car. Click the complete button to create the wheel. We will now use the mirror tool to create wheels on the opposite side of the car. Select the mirror tool and then select the mirror plane. I will select the y-axis in order to mirror the wheels across the mid-plane of the car. Now I will move to the structure tree and select the newly created patterned objects which contain the wheels that we just created. By selecting the patterned wheels I have created a mirrored copy of the wheels on the opposite side of the car. With all four wheels in place, we will now move to the aerodynamic surfaces of the car. We will begin by creating a rear wing. Again, select sketch mode. In the middle of the pillars that will hold the rear wing, draw a circle two millimeters in diameter. Next, place a point eight millimeters from the center of the circle. Select the spline tool. First, select the point that was just created, then snap the cursor to the top of the circle. Now select the point behind the pillar parallel to the center of the circle and the leading edge. Continue the process for the underside of the wing. Now select the Trim Away tool and remove the sketch of the circle. We can now see that we have created a sketch of a symmetric rear wing. If we desire a more swept or organic shape, we can move the handles to shape as well as move the rear wing as desired. When you have the desired shape for your rear wing, return to 3D mode to extrude the wing. We would like the wing to be symmetric along the rear of the car. So we are going to select the surface of the wing that was just created and now select the pull both sides tool now pull the wing 60 millimeters. We 
we can see that the pillars do not mate with the surface. To correct this, select the faces of the pillars underneath the wing. Now select the pole tool. Now select the up to option and select the wing surface to mate the two bodies. In order to create the front wing, we will perform the same operations as the rear wing, but with slightly different dimensions. Once you are satisfied with your aerodynamic surfaces, you can save your model and move on to the CFD analysis.